Hi people, I just wanted to show you a really quick way of you choosing a thumbnail tool just in case it's getting a little bit, you think, oh, I don't know, I don't quite know what to do, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the thumbnail tool, okay? Now this is what you'll be doing is you'll be choosing what one you want, okay? So you can see that every single one of these, every single one of these um, you can choose from, okay? And there are literally hundreds and hundreds of thumbnails, okay? And then right at the bottom, we scroll right the way down down to the bottom there should be a scheduling system or there will be a scheduling system but what we need to do for the time being okay is you need to choose what actual thumbnail you want now there's two ways you can do this the first way which is the easiest way i'm going to show you the most quickest way and that's the um you can literally choose what one you want so say for instance you wanted to use this one okay now the quickest way to do this is if you're on windows you want to type into the search s and n which is going to bring up the snipping tool okay and then you would click on the snipping tool and you'll see that my snipping tool is here and you'll see this is what i've been playing around so if i click on new it, it goes back down into the box like so and then what i can do is it allows me to choose what one I want now say for instance we're going to use this one here okay what we need to do is literally just draw we could well it's actually um let's go back a bit let's just do redo that again so I've got that wrong let's go back again new okay so what you want to do is you want to click on new and then you want to hover across and just do this okay now you can even do it like this if it's easier and then let go and then what you want to do is if you go to pen and set custom pen and then you can choose what color you want etc and then what you do is just left mouse button and just hold your button down like that okay and just draw like that okay and you can have a little arrow like that or you could even put an X if you wanted to put an X because then I would know that this is the picture that you want okay and then what you want to do is you want to click on here and then hit save as and if i put test one all right and save and now you'll be able to easily add this picture across so i know exactly that this is the actual template that you will require and then all you need to do is send me the additional information and then i will create a thumbnail for you which is roughly in the value of between five and ten dollars okay and you get this absolutely free it's included inside your membership um, so uh, that's it hopefully that's going to help you with that side of it it's a very very quick video here it's just going to show you exactly so just to do it one more time so you know exactly what i'm on about let's say for instance you wanted this one local business roofer what you do is just go back to the snipping tool click on new and then you could just put a, um you could either do it like that okay and then just put a what we can do now is we can just put a cross on there like that or you can just put a tick or what you can do is remember what i said go to the search engine type s and n snipping tool that brings it up click on new copy it across like so okay and then just all you need to do then is just highlight it so i know it's this one that you're interested in you can put a little arrow and then save it and then it's ready for you to send it to me either by email or by the scheduler and that's it really really simple very very easy for you to use if you're using a mac uh, you could use a paint program or you could just literally um, you know Mac's got uh, quite a few tools I don't know what I haven't got a Mac okay so I can't help you on that side but I do know that you can still grab a screen you can also mark the actual JPEG that you've got etc before you send it off so it's a very very easy simple way for you to do that and as I said before please scroll through the pages below to choose what thumbnail you would like to use also please submit any graphics you may require for creating and branding your YouTube thumbnail what color you might want to use so again if you want to change the colors you just got to give me a little bit more information and then what you want to do is text it and if you want to you can add it uh some text etc you can send it all into support at darrenbrown.org.uk or you can use the unique scheduler which will be below now the unique scheduler i'm going to add into this at some point and all that does basically is if you're build a role you don't have to be being build a role okay but if you are in build a role 
um, it just instantly goes into your account very, very quickly. All right. Um, if you're not, don't worry too much about it um, because you can still use the unique scheduler even if you're not into build roll and you can still use unique scheduler in, in anything anyway, right? It's, it's a universal schedule system that basically just I've designed just so we can send all the information that I require to build you and create you your very unique thumbnail. And once you've got that template of that thumbnail, then it will literally be a case of the next time you do another review, you basically just tell me what review you're doing and then I'll just be able to alter it accordingly. Now, if, say, for instance, you think, well, Darren, I tried this one, but it got on with it. Can I try this one? Absolutely. What we need to do is just do exactly the same thing. Just take a page, a picture of it, and send it off, and then I'll sort it out, okay? And any remember, any of these that are on this page, you can use, okay? So uh, there's not one that you can't use. You can use all of them. That's it. Cheers.